Hi, welcome to Sonic Vision Studio. My name's Sam, and today we're going to take a quick tour of the studio. But before that, don't forget, like, subscribe, ask questions, leave comments. My studio is located inside a rehearsal studio complex in Marseille. There's a bar, cafe, restroom, ping pong, lounges, and to get down to the studio, down the stairs we go. So in this video I'm giving you a quick tour, but don't forget to check out my previous video about the construction of the studio. Okay, so this is the front door. This part here inside the door acts like an airlock, isolation between outside and the studio. But I also use the space for some storage and the ventilation system for the vocal cabin. Uh, I keep some spare parts here in these drawers. I've got some spare cables and percussion instruments here. Some mic stands for recording drums up on this shelf. Okay, let's have a look at the control room. I tried to be efficient with every square centimeter of space. The basic design of the control room is to hear the direct sound from the speakers and then to absorb and diffuse the reflected sound as much as possible. For the sound emitting from the back of the speakers behind the desk, there's 100 millimeters of insulation covered in fabric on the back wall. Those insulation and fabric covered walls wrap around just enough to also catch the reflections coming from the sides of the speakers as well. For the sound emitting from the top of the speakers, there's the same thing, an acoustic ceiling cloud, 100 millimeters thick, covered in fabric. Behind the mix position, I have this bench trunk filled with cables, which probably has some absorbing qualities as well. Above it at ear level, or listening height, I built a double thick acoustic panel, 200 millimeters thick. Behind it is an 18 millimeter thick piece of pine with some holes cut in it to try to diffuse some of the sound. Some audio frequencies get absorbed, some diffuse in different directions, and some pass straight through. I have two diffusers either side of that panel as well in an attempt to break up those reflections. The guitars on the walls also act as diffusers, breaking up the reflections further. Here's my guitar and amp setup. So, I have a Fender Rock 1000, uh, a Carvin V3, a Marshall JCM 800-2203 reissue, and a Moore GE300 Lite amp modeler, running through a Palmer power amp. I got a Dunlop Rack Wah, a TC Electronic G Major 2. Uh, over here I have my pedal board and a Hale torque box mic'd up with an SM57. I have four electric guitars, an Ibanez Gem 7 Burnt Stain Blue that I've modded a little, an Epiphone Les Paul John Sykes model, a made from parts Super Strat guitar with Damasio Super Distortion pickups, it's got a G Geiger graphics from the Alien film, a Japanese Fender Strat, I have a Yamaha bass, and a Yamaha APX6 acoustic guitar. I'll do a separate video going deeper into my amp and guitar setup. For keyboards, I have a Korg Karma synthesizer, which I generally use for its arpeggiators, and a Roland RD700SX that I use as a master keyboard, but also just to have a piano in the room. But I'll do a separate video on that as well. Here's the vocal cabin. There are three guitar cabs, a Fender 4x12, a Marshall 4x12, and an Angle 2x12 with two microphones on each cabinet. For vocals, I have a Rode Classic 2 valve mic and a Shure SM7B. Check out the swinging adjustable mic arm. I have two Joe Meek JM27 small diaphragm condenser mics set up as a stereo pair to record acoustic guitars or percussion. I also have a separate mobile rig for recording drums. I have this flight case with an RME Fireface linked to an eight channel mic pre connected over ADAT. Uh, this gives me the ability to record a drum kit with up to 12 microphones. There are plenty of other rooms in this complex. So renting another room for a day or a week to do a drum session is never a problem. Generally only takes about one hour to set up the drums ready to go. So in an upcoming video, I'll talk about the analog compressors, EQs and equipment I use, my computer, 
sound card, the speakers, uh, my keyboard controller, and way more about my guitar setup. Thanks for watching. Cheers from Sonic Vision. See you soon.